Hey y'all, how y'all doing? So I'm gonna be talking about Chloe Bailey today. Okay, um, had a few things that I wanted to get off my chest. She's a part of the Chloe and Hallie sister duo, amazingly talented girls. I started following them early on when they were on YouTube doing covers of different music artist songs. You know, I knew that they were, you know, gonna blow up. They played instruments, they sang, and they act as well. One of the sisters was cast in the upcoming remake of, you know, The Little Mermaid. She's going to be, you know, the first Black Mermaid. Ever since Hallie started filming for this movie or was cast in this movie, I saw a difference in her sister, uh, Chloe. I know that she and her sister are not kids anymore. Hallie is 22 and I believe Chloe is 24. One of the things that young people in the public eye struggle with is trying to break away from, you know, the childhood version of themselves into the adult version. They want people to start looking at them, you know, as adults. When people have seen young girls grow up before their eyes, it's sometimes hard. You know what I'm saying? To think of them as an adult. That's one of the things that I think Chloe struggles with, along with other things. And I want to talk about them. All right. I've been refraining from speaking on her for a while because I know that she is just a young girl trying to find her way. But I think that she is just out here doing the absolute most. And some people make sure to let her know that. Okay. I'm definitely going to let her know that she's doing too much because I think that it's gotten to a point where I feel, I feel like she's going to look back on some of the shit that she's done and be ridiculously embarrassed. So first, like you know, I want to say that I noticed a change in her behavior around the time that her sister had gotten cast in a little mermaid movie. It's like all of a sudden she started seeking, you know, started seeking attention in the worst way though. It was like, she started holding up an invisible banner that read, look at me, look at me, see me, see me. I'm here. You know what I mean? I automatically thought, okay, She's used to being with her sister and damn near every project. Her sister has just gotten cast in a little mermaid, which is big. Okay. And she probably feel away, not necessarily jealous. I'm sure she's proud of her sister, but I don't know. Maybe was probably feeling left out when Hallie was away in another country filming that movie. I believe she said that that was, that was their first time apart, you know, like that for that long. Now, Chloe knows that Hallie getting that role as Ariel is big and probably felt away because, you know, it was like, what was she going to be doing while Hallie was out there doing big things? What did she have going on, you know, at the time while Hallie was filming her movie? It's like she didn't want um, Hallie to be the only one doing things. So I guess she figured or her management figured maybe, I don't know, in my opinion, that Chloe needed to do something to grab the people's attention. And it's like she woke up one day soon after and said, I'm going to try to become a sex symbol. It's like she woke up and realized one day that she had a body and now wanted to share it with the world, which has become extremely annoying because everything she does just seems forced. And a lot of people notices it when people speak truth, people want to, you know, yell, Oh, you're just jealous. Oh, you're mad because her body looked better than yours. You know what I'm saying? It really don't matter what her body looks like because she's not the only one out in the world with a nice body. They come a dime a dozen. People out there buying them like hotcakes. What people are telling her, in my opinion, has nothing to do with them being jealous. At least not all of them. Some people are trying to tell her that some of the shit that she ju- she does is just too much. She loves to say that, you know, she loves her body. She's liberated and proud of her body, whatever she said. It was something to that degree. And I'm like, just because you're proud of your body don't mean that your ass got to be, you know, the first thing that somebody sees when, um, they come to check you out. If I want to come to your IG page and see what you got going on as someone who supports your music, why do I have to see your ass out every single time? You know what I'm saying? That's the shit that girls with no talent do. You know what I'm saying? They get on the gram and show everything, but they ovaries, they titties out, ass out, thighs out, because that'd be all they have to offer. And it's sad. That's all you see on the gram are young girls who have nothing else to offer but their bodies, which is one of the reasons I hate even going on the gram because it's annoying as fuck. They can be on there trying to make an inspirational quote or something. And at the same damn time, they damn near naked. Like, what the fuck does that have to do with one another? They find any reason to be naked because they have absolutely nothing else to offer. My thing is, Chloe don't need to do that. She sings, she plays instruments, make her own music. I believe she writes as well, and she also acts. She probably got more talent in her pinky finger than any of those girls on the gram have at all. But it's like she wants more attention 
on her body than she does her music. I heard that her relationship isn't the best with her mother at the moment. I don't know if that's true, but I can imagine her mother being pissed, investing in her daughter's talent for so many years, only for her to get on the ground and act like she has no other talent outside of showing her ass. It's like, okay, you got a big ass, but you ain't the only one. What about, you know, what differentiates you from everybody else? You know what I'm saying? I felt like it was her talent that differ that made her different from other people. But I guess Chloe feels like, you know, it's her body. Some people are tired of her trying to force this sexual shit on them. Like leave that shit to the people with no talent. It's highly ridiculous for her to be out here. In my opinion, as a talented, as talented as she is. Okay. And do nothing but show ass. Yeah. She making music too. Her album is coming out soon, which further supports, in my opinion, what I've been saying, which is that she wanted to have something going on, too, especially around the time that her sister's movie will debut, which I believe is in May. So, you know, she will be dropping her debut album soon, even when it comes to her music now, okay, that she's solo. She tries to push this uh, sexual shit, and it's just... It's just fucking tired at this point because it's like, that's not who you really are. And if it is, I'll pass. You know what I'm saying? She did a song with, I believe it was Young Gunna. I, I, not Young Gunna. I believe his name was Gunna. He's a rapper or whatever. I hope I have the right person. If not, I apologize. But she did a song with a rapper. Let's just say that. Okay. And some of the lyrics went, I'll fuck you right. I will or whatever. I was like, oh, I bet she just jumped at the chance to sing that song because it's like, she's just so thirsty for people to see her in a sexual way. Yet she gets online and tell people that she hasn't had that many partners. You haven't had that many partners, but the shit you out here doing says different to some people in my opinion. And we're going to get to that we're going to get to why she mentioned her sexual partners in a minute. But before I do, I want to take it back a little bit. So once Hallie started filming her movie, we saw Chloe do the bus it challenge where she was squatting in that dress that I believe, believe it had a split up the thigh, or whatever. So part of her ass was out and her thigh was out and, you know, she was bouncing her ass all of her. Yeah. It, it, I just felt like, okay, this is a different Chloe you know, that got the people's attention because they weren't used to that side of Chloe. Then it was her recording herself dancing around in her room, in her shirt and panties. And she uploaded that to IG, I believe. Then she did that cringy ass video that she ended up taking down because she got so much backlash from it. She was thanking her Instagram followers because she had gotten like maybe one or two million at the time, I can't remember. So she was laid across her bed, I believe, trying to be sexy, sucking on a lollipop, doing her mouth a certain way. That kind of suggested that she was sucking a you-know-what, in my opinion. Like, why the fuck do you got to do all that just to thank your fans for subscribing? You do have female fans, too, and they don't care to see all that. She was just doing too much, in my opinion. She got online crying afterwards, you know, because people was pretty much telling her that she was doing too much. Like, why get online and cry when you just going to wipe your tears and continue to do the same shit, you know, people don't want to see. When you do certain things, you have to be able to deal with what comes with it. Her music video that she released, very sexual, ass out everywhere. It's like, do you want the people to focus on your talent or your ass? It's like, you know, is your goal to get all the fellas to want to fuck you? Because that's not good. Do you want people to see you for... You know what I'm saying? It's like, don't you want people to see you for more than just your body? Like, I'm not understanding. You know what I'm saying? Do you want people to, guys to start seeing you just for your body? Then when they start treating you like a hoe, you're going to be somewhere crying about that too. So the last straw for me, you know, was when I recently heard that she would be seen in a sex scene that she filmed with actor Damson Idris. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, it's like a thriller series or something. A psych What did they say? A psychological thriller or something. I think it's produced by Danny Glover and it's being shown over on Prime Video. It's called Swarm, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. 
they've been talking about it all over the internet. The internet was going crazy because the sex scene actually aired the other day. I had a chance to see it and I was just like, okay, Chloe, now what? You happy now? I'm sure you jumped all over the chance to be seen with your ass in the air while supposedly getting back shots. I'm sure your parents couldn't wait to see it or your brother. I'm sure you're very happy with yourself because you probably feeling like, okay, now they see me as an adult. I guess she really didn't want her sister out here. You, you know, I guess she really didn't want her sister out doing her. You know what I'm saying? With her big um, mermaid role. So she done went and hopped in a damn sex scene that looks like it could also be a scene on Pornhub. Congratulations. You know what I'm saying? What now? Because I know that, you know, in, in my opinion, I feel like she's extremely happy with herself. Okay until she looks back on it and realizes that she really sold herself short. I'm sure that that's not the only role that she could have gotten, but I feel like it's the only one that appealed to her because it had a sex scene in it, which is why people calling her thirsty. She acts so fucking thirsty to be seen. Now that she's been seen with her ass up in the air, now what? Like it's such a disappointment. At least for me it is. And I feel like, you know, I don't know if I, if I feel like this, can you imagine how her parents feel? I don't even know her, but that's their daughter. That's their child, grown or not. You know what I'm saying? There are other ways to get people to see you as an adult. Doing a porn scene, in my opinion, you know, didn't have to be one of them. I hate to see young girls selling themselves short, especially when they don't have to. I was like, okay, is this all Chloe or is her management behind her doing shit like this? Are they telling her that this is what she needs to do to be a star? Or is Chloe... You know what I'm saying? Coming up with this shit on her own. I feel like she was more than happy to do the scene and more than happy to always be showing her ass. But I still wonder if her management was pushing this as well. Now, her father was her manager before, I believe. And we know he ain't pushing shit. We know he ain't pushing this shit here. You know, his baby girls grew up wholesome. I recently read somewhere that Chloe fired her father as a manager and moved out of, you know, the house. So my guess is that her parents aren't happy about what Chloe is doing at all. <clears throat> I get that she's an adult, but why do you want to, you know, put yourself out there like that? And not to compare her to her sister, but people ain't going to be out here offering sex scene roles to her sister, Hallie. Okay. That's why she got the little mermaid role in my opinion. I feel like now that Chloe has put herself out, out there like she has, sex scene roles are probably going to be the only thing that she's offered now. Like I was saying, I heard that, you know, she fired her father as her manager and that Beyonce's stepbrother, Richard Lawson, is now managing her. And keep in mind that she signed to Beyonce's label, which is Parkwood Entertainment. I feel like she idolizes Beyonce. And a lot of people say that she's trying to be her. I agree with them, but Beyonce wasn't out here in no sex scenes, was she? I think Chloe done took it too far and need to reel it back in. She needs to reel that shit back in and focus on her talent because she going to look back on this shit, in my opinion, and see how crazy she out here looking. Okay? In my opinion. I know that sex sells, but everything ain't got to be about sex. Like, is that what you want people to see you for? Ass. I mean, I get that when you're young, you want to flaunt what you got, if you got it. But again, I feel like she's just doing too much. And I guess she's going to eventually want to have herself a quality man. But because of how she's advertising herself, I feel that the only men that's going to pursue her are the ones that just want to fuck. Then when they get done fucking, they're going to run back and tell everybody, you know, that they had her in my opinion and then be off to the next. I feel like the only guys she's going to attract are like rappers who just look in the fuck and then talk about it in their songs afterwards. Like, girl, is that what you want for your life? But anyway, y'all, that's all I had to say about this. All right. Y'all take care and I'll chat with y'all in the next one.